right, everyone. So uh, I don't even know how many days or weeks this is later at this point, but um, Sean has made some more progress. So instead of breaking this up into like however many like three part videos I was gonna do, we're just gonna do one long one because there's no sense to keep doing an episode when we think it's gonna fire up and we run into problems. So as you guys can see, Sean got the fenders put on. He got new tires put on. So it's finally back on the ground. Uh, the exhaust is buttoned up. So it looks pretty good poking out the back there. So the problem he's having now is he did get it to turn over and I think it fired for like five seconds or something. But um, as far as he knows, the timing's off. So he has to remove the alternator so we can get our finger down there on the uh, number one cylinder and make sure it's at top dead center and then re-stab the distributor when it's at that point. And then after that, the game plan is gonna be to actually see if it fires up at that point. So like I say, you got the fenders put on back on the ground so definitely looks like he's made a lot of progress and uh you got a new hood didn't you sean yeah it's actually outside around the corner because see if they can see this one how beat up the hail got this one you can see how pitted it is so i got this one's going to the scrap yard uh, and then i have the new cobra r hood outside curing is what the tag says to do with it so yep guys brand new covid r cobra r hood so uh definitely gonna look good when this thing is all said and done so just figure we give you guys an update all right so the easiest thing for us to do was to remove the alternator just move it out the way so he could get his hand on cylinder number one right now right there so he's putting the plug back in um we know it's timed right because uh, cylinder one push air out and you can see right here that this is pointing straight back so timing should be good so that leaves fuel or spark um i'm gonna say fuel's good because last time we tried to start this he had a leak up top and you could hear everything priming so he fixed that so i'm saying it has something to do with the spark that's not letting this car to start so he might have to look at that msd coil over there or um, something like that because he said Last time they put the little tool in the end of the boot and they seen a little blue spark or something. So um, that's where we're at with that. Um, really don't know how far we're gonna get today now because I think all of us were leaning towards that the timing was off, but turns out that's right. So uh, more to come. All right, so everything got put back together and then we got a plug wire off. So we're gonna see if it fires and uh, if we see a spark in there. I see barely anything. I seen a tiny one on the outside. Did you? Barely. Yeah, I it was, see it was super weak. And it seemed like it like took it a while for it to even show up. Well, it sound like it's pushing like, a bunch of air out. Yeah, I felt like a, a huge fucking Vacuum shitload of air. Or something, yeah. That's exactly what it sound like. Try it again, Sean. Let's see if we get a spark. I didn't see nothing. No spark? I didn't see no spark that time. Here, hold on. Uh, you want this back or no? Go here. Hello. I don't see nothing. I heard click, but I, don't well, see I heard clicking. I didn't see a spark. You see? Go again. It's arcing on this side over here. Right here. Try it again. Is it coming inside here? Is it supposed to? It ain't supposed to do that, right? Yeah, it's supposed to arc through there. See, watch. Yep. I've seen the arcing on the screwdriver side, not the plug side. So we got plenty of spark here, right? Yeah. I would say there. I'm going to go back here.
Same there. Okay, you can try to see if it's arcing on the screwdriver side again. You can see it's your camera better. Uh, I don't know if I will be able to. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's arcing like right up the front of the boot. Pretty strong? Yeah. About as strong as a, a distributor coil was. That should be a motherfucking part. Is that strong? And the only thing you can do is put the plug wire on there and you can try it again, but. Where's that little, little uh, spout thing? I don't know if the time will fit so low. I don't know. I have a timing gun. So we will pause, pause here. Oh. All right, we'll pause right here as uh, oh, we gotta figure this out so I keep you guys updated. All right, guys, so figured out the problem. So if you guys can see right here on the cap, right by my finger. Uh, right above that number six or nine, whatever, or I guess six, uh, there's a number one on the cap, and uh, he has number one right here. So pretty much all of these are off of top. So he's gonna have to go through and probably mark which cord he had or which wire he's going to the what cylinder, and then readjust it from the top. Is gonna be the easiest thing. So um, that's where he's at with that. So I think he's finding a paint pen or something so he can mark the plug wires up top and then he's gonna have to rearrange to put them in the correct place. So that's what we think is wrong. So uh, we'll see. All right guys, moment of truth. So he went back and you can see he wrote oh, his phone? tape okay. right there. And here dad, you wanna take this big wrench in hand? He re-ran the wires so he's gonna see if it fires this time. Big ol' exhaust leak, guys. Well, sweet, at least it fired. Alright guys, so we're gonna wrap up the video. We just kind of stuck around to see if he could get this thing to fire off. So uh, definitely has an exhaust leak, but um, definitely a lot of progress made. At least, you know, we got it started now. So uh, definitely has some things to button up, but um, almost there. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, now that I can finally wrap it up, please be sure to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.